this gang, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Today we are back in Chinatown. Yes, you're totally right, we have already been here, but I showed you only three restaurants and there are more than 150 businesses in this small space. So today we're featuring more street food and what is even more important is that it's so very cheap. Everything that we'll eat today is under 10 pounds. Are you excited? Yes. I really hope you are because I'm starving! In today's video we're going to try the best street food in Chinatown but also I will give you a lot of useful information and many tips and not to forget all the fun facts because I love them and I hope you do as well. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more fun and informative content from London and also other places where I travel don't forget to subscribe and let's start with a little fun fact guys did you know that chinatown hasn't always been in soho in the beginning in the 18th century chinatown was located in lime house which is in london's east end and of course there is chinatown also in other cities such as liverpool manchester paris san francisco new york la boston and many others and guys let me know is there a chinatown in your city and before we start and we go to our first restaurant, I just want to tell you, guys, I know it's called Chinatown, but don't assume that all the restaurants in there are Chinese. There are many from Taiwan, Korea, Malaysia, Vietnam, Japan, the Philippines, and many other countries. What are we doing now? We're getting some chicken, but it's closed. It opens in half an hour. And I'm pretty sure that if if I tell you fried chicken, Chinatown is not really something which just pops up in your mind but they say that this fried chicken from Taiwan is so good that it will change your mind but also it's not very traditional and because I don't eat meat, Ben will be testing it out I will personally volunteer in trying fried chicken from Taiwan And after it's fried, you can choose which one of these spices you want on top Got some crispy fried chicken it's going well, I don't understand, I got like two skewers to, like, for this chicken, you know? It looks very tasty, but there's a lot of garlic, but I like it, I like it. Oh, it's very thin. Mm. How does it taste? Yummy. And do you think price for quality is good? Um, I'm not sure how big the other part is, but like, so far so good. And I got my lunch from here, it's the Chinese tapas house, but don't expect anything which resembles the Spanish tapas, it's more like crepe-like pancake, which inside is filled with eggs, chili sauce, which I kind of knew from the beginning, spring onion, and some crispy wonton strips that I will show you in a bit. Look at that, I think the mushrooms are actually like the ones that we saw um, like the Korean mushrooms in the supermarket and they have like this sauce which is brownish maybe it's like soy sauce or something I don't know, I wish I knew Ooh. Ooh, I didn't know it's spicy It's very spicy <sighs> Let's stay strong And look at these mushrooms so yeah, this is a good time to give you a tip. No matter what you order at Chinatown, always ask if it's spicy, especially if you don't eat spicy food, because spice comes in anything. Uh, I'm literally about to cry, and my nose is running. <laughs> Something interesting is that in every pancake, they put these crispy things that they're kind of like nachos. And look at the mushrooms. Big premise. I'm a pretty manly and fearless man, you know, I, I fear nobody. Two seconds later. Why? Why? It's spicy. Very spicy. And for an authentic visit to Chinatown, I really suggest you going to one of their supermarkets. It's so interesting for me to see all the ingredients that are over there. You can find fresh produce, which you cannot find anywhere else. And also they have cheap tofu or also so many noodles. Everything that you see on the left in here is instant noodles and on the other side are just regular noodles to cook. But look how many they are. 
and I'm guessing that these are the mushrooms which I had in my pancake and also tons of sauces which I find hard to understand what exactly are they for so it's beef jerk which yeah. is already cooked yeah I mean I, I like the color oh I like this guy well, it's quite expensive it's, it's very little you know and there are so many products which I honestly have no idea how is it made or how can you cook it. Just like this bean curd shit. I would love if someone tells me what is this used for. And in this supermarket you can also find already cooked meals and they also have this duck and these ones. And now let's see where can you find the best dumplings in Chinatown. Guess what, guys? This is one of the best restaurants in Chinatown. It's called Pao Zion. And here we have mixed dumplings. Oh, they're quite cute! I guess they think that we cannot use chopsticks, so, so they gave us a fork. And I was about to get offended because, you know, I'm not that ignorant. Of course, I know how to use chopsticks. And these are the mixed ones with chicken, pork, and veggies. I'll try this one. I feel like this one is chicken, you know? I like how they are crispy here, you know? Yeah, this also smells like meat. Now we are sure that this one is the veggie one. I can actually already see some carrots. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It opened, it opened. What is better here is the dough, that it's very crispy, but also I can feel that it was both like steamed and after that fried. It's really good. What do you say? I say yummy. If I have to rate this out of 10, I think I would give it like a 8 because it's really tasty, but if you do take away, it's a bit too expensive. And that's another place where you can have dumplings. It's called Beijing dumplings. And because we went there very early in the morning, we could see them making them from one side. They were making handmade noodles and from the other, they're crafting dumplings. Isn't it so interesting? And one of the restaurants where we have already been is called Misato. They have traditional Japanese food, which is also very affordable. And this place is already featured in another video, so it will be linked down below. And this is Gen Cafe. They have very affordable dumplings, which, you know, they're featured in the Chinatown video. But uh, I also have to say the service was not really great. And now it's time for another fun fact. Guys, do you know where is the oldest Chinatown in Europe? I would assume London, but actually the first one was in Liverpool. And after that we had to get something sweet. So we went to Mama Sun's Dirty Ice Cream, which is an ice cream from the Philippines. And if you're wondering why is it called Dirty Ice Cream, it's because that's how they call street ice cream in the Philippines. And that's another fun fact for you. This place has been getting a lot of attention on social media because it opened recently and everyone is loving this vlog. You guys, it's so melting. Look at that. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh my god! And that's how it looks. It's kind of a nice cream inside a cake, but I just cannot explain to you how difficult is it to eat. Look at my hands. And after we made the mess, I realized that the best way to eat it is to first eat the ice cream from the inside and after that eat the cake as like normal biscuit. Yeah, oh my god, I love it. And if I have to rate the ice cream out of 10, I would give it a 9 because it was really delicious but a little bit overpriced. Do you recognize the place behind me? Because actually I have taken you here already a couple of times. It is the Golden Gate Cake Shop where you can find a lot of different buns which are also very yummy, big and affordable. And another bakery which is super synonymous with Chinatown is this one. It's the Kowloon Bakery and something which everyone suggests it's the pork bun which costs only £1.50. Let's see what do they offer now. Oh, and something that you see over there is the pandan. It is this thing over there. It's so chewy. Fluffy, you mean? Uh, yeah. 
and also you guys these bakeries are usually one of the cheapest things that you can eat here in Chinatown so I really suggest you trying them and they're kind of more authentic and I decided to go to this wonderful patisserie and they inside they have again cakes, their delicious buns and they also have these new moon cakes which I believe they are handmade and that's why they are so expensive but inside the store there was also kind of like a small supermarket I even found instant noodles for only 30p and the packaging looks kind of cute so I just had to buy them got this three mochi for £1.50 only. All right. Yeah, oh, and I'm they're with strawberry. Oh, and actually, wow. Can I see? Yes, here they are. Do you need help? No. I Five minutes later. This is how they look. They're very fluffy and something which always surprises me what? is how they manage to make beans so sweet. Can you show us the inside? And can you have a nice close-up of the inside? Oh wow! I have had better ones. I like the outside part, which is the beans. Can, can I taste one? Yeah, the outside part. Can I, can I taste it? Give me a second. Oh, fine. The outside part tastes great, but the inside is a little bit artificial. And now let's talk about all-you-can-eat buffets, which are only ten pounds. And guys, I filmed this around like 10 a.m. so they weren't all set up and don't worry, usually all this is filled with food. Here we are in Hong Kong Buffet, which is my favorite buffet in London. For only like £10.25 plus 10% service charge. One hour all you can eat. Yes, exactly. Amazing, thank you. And now it's time for some more useful tips for you. And before you go, make sure you withdraw some cash because in some places you can pay cash only or in others they even give you a discount if you pay by cash instead of a card. And another important tip that I have for you is that you know when you're coming back from somewhere and you really want to go to the bathroom. You guys, here in St. James there are free bathrooms which are quite close to China. Drum rolls please. I found out about this app called Hungry Panda which basically works with all the restaurants in Chinatown. Have you ever heard of it? Because I honestly haven't. I feel like it's targeting only Asian places and most of them of course are already in Chinatown and deliver and they deliver anywhere in the UK and the delivery fees are also pretty low. The only thing is I find it a little bit hard to use if you don't speak Chinese because at the moment you're seeing the English version which still has a lot of Chinese in there but you know it can be quite fun and you can get your favorite food straight to your door and I really hope you enjoyed this video you find it useful and I will see you in this next one love you all bye